Hi everyone, so I did the world's highest tandem jump at 18,000 feet. You have to explain something to everybody. Okay. Why are you wearing this funny looking harness? What's happening here today? So we are going skydiving today, or I'm going skydiving today at 18,000 square feet. That is awesome. <laughs> What's the occasion? Why are we jumping today? Uh, I have a YouTube channel. It's a food, travel, experience channel. I wanted to do this for all of the followers so that they can come along with me. I love it. I love it. So 18,000 feet, that's the highest skydive you can do. I know. You're going to free fall for like a minute and a half okay. towards this earth. Are you ready? As ready as I can be. Are you nervous? Um, not really, actually. No? Yeah. Not yet? Do you think that might change when the door opens? <laughs> and they push us out? Right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> so what do you want to say to everybody that's going to watch your video? Um, just go for it. Live life like it's your last day on earth and just be happy. I love it. Give me five. Let's go have some fun. Yeah. All right, who's ready to make some really questionable decisions? Yeah. Yeah. Like jump out of a plane? Yes. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's go. Totally ready. Woo! I went skydiving. I know it's so crazy because I'm kind of a scaredy cat, you know? So I wanted to record the whole experience for you guys. I've broken the video down into four parts. So part one is how I found which facility to jump at, which height I decided to do, the discount that I got, and also um, some tips on for when you book your reservation. Part two is when I actually arrived at the facility, um, I recorded my instructor telling us what to do so that if you guys uh, want to be a little bit more prepared before you guys do your jump, then you can watch that. Part three is the actual jump, which I can't believe it. I did the world's highest tandem jump at 18,000 feet. It's so crazy. I still can't believe that I did it. Um, and then the last part are tips from when I was waiting in the landing zone, just hearing people who just landed and the things that they would talk about to their friends, just helpful things that I wish I had known and I'd like for you guys to know as well so that if you go do your jump, you can be more prepared. For instance, like some of the helpful tips are some of the people were talking about how they couldn't breathe and then also I kind of got injured. So I wanted to just give you guys a sense of all the different things that you could be prepared for just so you're aware of them, you know? So Groupon is a great resource for skydiving. There's a lot of different facilities that offer discounts for jumps. I looked at all these different places and then I noticed that they all jump at different heights. So then I went and looked up what are different jumps. So people do different jumps because they want to experience free fall at different lengths. At 8,000 feet, you'll free fall for 20 seconds, 10,000, 40 seconds, 15,000 feet, 75 seconds and then the world's highest tandem jump is at 18,000 feet and you'll free fall for 90 seconds. After looking through all the different facilities, Monterey Skydive was the only one that offered 18,000 feet and they also had the world's fastest plane which they say can get you up to that height in less than nine minutes. So I mean I already don't like to fly to begin with so if I can go in a plane that can get me to that altitude faster, then yeah, I'd rather spend less time in the plane, you know? So there were a bunch of pluses for Monterey Skydive. They had, you know, the height, they had the fast plane, and then they also um, jumped the closest to the ocean compared to everyone else. So it was kind of a no brainer to pick them. And then I also went and found a 25% coupon for Groupon. So you end up paying like, like, I don't know, 30 something dollars, you know, to apply $100 to your final amount, which is totally worth it. So I called them and then I made my reservation, but what ended up happening is that uh, 48 hours before your reservation, they'll tell you, hey, the weather looks good to go, you know, just reminding you that you have a reservation in two days. And then the next day, they would say, you know, actually it's not good weather, today we didn't jump. So one thing that I learned is that you can't always work your schedule around a skydiving jump because um, if the clouds come in, then the plane can't fly up, the instructors can't see the landing zone, and then so, you know, it's not safe for them to jump. And then you could either go and just wait for hours and not jump, which they say is what happens to some people, or you end up just rescheduling. And then so I rescheduled like six different times. So, you know, if you're planning your trip to a different state to go skydive, make sure you have like a really big buffer of time in case, you know, they have to keep pushing it out due to clouds and stuff. So um, that's one thing I learned. I was planning to skydive a while ago and then um, 
finally, finally, um, I got to do it. So when you arrive at the facility, make sure you arrive at least 30 minutes early, not just because of traffic, but also because of all the things that you should, you know, get done before you actually go on the jump. So they make you fill out a lot of paperwork, which is understandable because it's a dangerous activity. They actually make you write on the paperwork. They make you write it out. Like, I understand that this is a dangerous activity and can lead to serious injury and even death. You know, so it kind of like puts things in perspective, but then, you know, you're kind of like hyped up to go do the jump. You're not thinking like, ah, I'm not, not going to die or anything. And then after you fill out the paperwork, then you go and you pick out which video package you want to get. For me, I wanted to get the ultimate video package, which is another cameraman flying around in addition to um, the wrist camera that your instructor would have, which is the basic video package. So yeah, so while you're picking out your video package, they'll weigh you because there's a certain weight limit to doing these jumps. They'll give you a DVD if you buy the video package. But for me, I wanted the raw footage as well. And then if you want the raw footage, they charge you $15 for a USB drive. I had called earlier and I said, hey, you know, I have my own USB drive. Can I just bring it? They said, you know, we had a problem with viruses in the past. So you would have to bring a USB drive in its original packaging, which is not a problem because the uh, Monterey Skydive charges $15 for a USB drive, but I could totally get one on Amazon for cheaper than that. So they need a minimum of four gigs. And then I got a 16 gig USB drive just, you know, for me to use later on. And then I brought it. I made sure I didn't open it and then you end up saving like just some money and then you go through initially putting on your harness and then your instructor will go through about like a 10 minute tutorial with you to tell you all the different things to do I mean I didn't think it was that complicated I thought it's just kind of like okay you're strapped on somebody and then you just like fall out of the plane you know um, but there's actually certain like choreography that you have to do just to make sure um, it makes things easy for your instructor like during free fall you have to you know do certain things So I wanted to record that for you guys just so you're aware um, Because it wasn't easy. I was like kind of nervous <laughs> Like I wasn't nervous for the jump But I was nervous that I wouldn't be able to like kick my legs up Between his legs because what if like I don't know It's not even easy to do while you're standing, you know like normally so um, what if like I don't and then I don't have the ground to like push my legs off. We're gonna do exactly the same body position in free fall. From the moment I jump until I open the parachute, you and me, we're gonna arch our top back. We make this U shape with our body, okay? I want you guys holding your harness in the beginning of this jump, okay? You guys gonna hold your harness where this metal piece is. Perfect. Use this metal piece as your reference. You're gonna hold down there and you, we're gonna jump you. You're gonna be holding, okay? You're not gonna open your arms right away. You're gonna wait for me to pat your shoulder and straight fall. That's when you open your arms, okay? So as soon as I jump out of the airplane with you, you're gonna bring it both of your legs together, in between my legs, all the way back, like a scorpion's tail, okay? So as soon as I jump, arch back. You lift, your, lift your chest up, bring your head up, so when you're falling, you're looking to the horizon. You don't look it down, you look at the horizon, okay? The whole free fall time, you are like an airplane. You keep your nose up looking to the horizon and your legs all the way back in between my legs like our tail. Okay? And that's what's going to keep you nice and stable in free fall. Alright? The only thing that changes is your arms. When I tap your shoulder in free fall, I'm going to tap, tap, tap. Open your arms nice and wide. Okay? Don't want them short, no T-Rex, no Jesus, no Superman, Super Jesus. Alright? Open high here. That's the free fall time, and that's when I need to jump the most. Once the parachute is open, we will move it to the front. Okay, like that. Any time of the jump, you're going to lift the both of your legs in front of you as high as you can. Don't let your feet touch the feet for me. Okay? Like that. You guys just took a rope. Alright? I'm going to land on the same. Once you're safe on the ground, I might say, stand up with me. If I say that, you put your feet down. 
If you don't say anything, keep your legs up. Because sometimes you have to sit down on our bus. Yeah? No matter what, you your business off. I will bring you safe to the ground and take care of you. Yeah? Uh, just don't try to touch the ground because that's how you get hurt. Yeah? You try to touch the ground before me, you could twist your ankle, you could hurt your feet. All right? So just trust me, I will bring you safe to the ground. And when the same is still with me, you might have to take some steps with me. I'm going to push this out of the plane. You don't need to worry about to do the movement. I will push this out. All you have to do is arch yourself. Okay, you see that? Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Okay. So now here's the jump.
Welcome back to the Yeah, garden. girl, how was that? Oh my gosh, that was crazy. <laughs> you were having a good time up there. That was amazing. What was your favorite part? <sighs> I think Ronaldo was my favorite part. <laughs> he really kept me calm oh. because I was really nervous actually when we jumped out of the plane, but you did that great. was thrilling. That you was did, awesome. You did an awesome job up there. <gasps> what do you want to say to everybody now that you've done your first skydive? Try it. It's amazing! Awesome girl. Yeah. Welcome to Skydive Monterey Bay. Welcome to our world. That was awesome. Thank you. Okay, so my thoughts afterwards. I mean, I did it because I kind of wanted to like do something really fun and show you guys. And I also, I guess kind of wanted like bragging rights to like prove something to myself, you know, because I'm kind of like a little bit of a chicken. So for me to like skydive the world's highest tandem jump, that's kind of something that I could be like, okay, I did that. But you guys, I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> Um, because I think I get motion sickness and so that really affected my enjoyment of the thing. I think if you were an adrenaline junkie and you don't get motion sickness, then you would probably think it's like the coolest thing ever and you would want to do it again. So you guys, I mentioned that I got an injury, you know, so, um, I didn't realize until I got home that I got this like abrasion right here, which technically the harness is here. It was much worse like the night after and then one of the things that people said when they landed like this couple they said i couldn't breathe they were like when they came out of the door the first thing they realized after like you know 10 seconds was like oh my gosh they kind of panicked they said they couldn't breathe and then after i heard that couple i was like I'm gonna scream because Ronaldo mentioned, you know, it helps you to scream. So I basically like scream the whole time. One of the other instructors was mentioning that, you know, yoga breathing is really helpful, like really deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. For me, I was so mentally overwhelmed. I think just, you know, from coming out of the plane and just like feeling all these different sensations and then trying to remember all the different things I was supposed to do. Like I was so, um, fixated on trying to look at the horizon and arch my legs between his legs, you know, that I think Ronaldo like tapped me a bunch of times on the shoulder, you know, when they tap you on the shoulder, you're supposed to like open up your arms like a Superman. And I totally, I, like I totally forgot, you know, and then I don't even know how many times he tapped me on the shoulder. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like supposed to take my hands off the harness and like open up my arms, you know? So Ronaldo's like, oh, hey, you know, like, look, there's a rainbow. And then we look down because like the clouds are below us, you know? He's like, oh, look, there's a rainbow. And the rainbow was round. Like, you know, we're like used to seeing an arch and it was round like a bullseye and there were like different colors in the rings. And Ronaldo went, oh, look, that shadow is us on the rainbow. So I thought that was like a cool moment, you know? And then he said like, oh, we're gonna go through the clouds now. It's gonna be a little bit cold. So like, that's why I really liked him because he like really talked me through these like extra things that like really they don't need to do, you know, but just to make sure that you have like a really good experience. So it was exhilarating. I definitely wouldn't do it again, but I'm super glad I did it, you know? So for anybody who's got this lingering question about like, you know, I've always wanted to skydive, like, hey, maybe you start with like 8,000 feet, you know? Um, you just go for something that's small to see if you even like it. And then if you like it, then you can totally go again because some of the other people in my group, it was like their second jump, you know? So, uh, Monterey Skydive, super nice people. Um, asked for Ronaldo. He was a super cool instructor. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys go try it, let me know what you guys think, you know? Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.